Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Deviant Hunting, a web series where I show you some of the most beautiful and amazing artworks from the Deviant Art community. All links to the artists can be found in the description below, so let's get into it. The first artwork to the show comes from Russian artist Mila Lazenko, who is an extremely talented traditional watercolour artist. Mila Lazenko's stunning work is highly influenced by her passion and love for cultural traditions such as kimonos from Japan, traditional Russian attire, and the jewellery and hairstyles from Chinese and Korean cultures. Mila Lazenko's ability to paint fine and intricate details of watercolours is phenomenal and helps to truly ensure her artwork stands out from the crowd. To achieve these results, Mila Lazenko uses a very fine brush and lots and lots and lots of patience. Mila Lazenko doesn't use any masking fluid to preserve white spaces in her artworks, which is a demonstration of her amazing skill level. To any artist wanting their work to stand out on DeviantArt, Mila Lazenko offers this advice. It's important to constantly upload new artworks to engage your audience, and don't forget to mutually give feedback to other users. Mila Lazenko currently works as an illustrator, and also has a Redbubble online store where you can purchase prints of her many beautiful artworks. Italian woodworker House of Lost Play creates amazing and unique custom wooden pipes. House of Lost Play deviated from his qualifications in computer science to pursue his passion of working as a full-time wood artisan, and it sure has paid off. The attention to shape and detail in every pipe is a testament to House of Lost Play's unbelievable craftsmanship. House of Lost Play's custom pipes are heavily influenced by J.R.R. Tolkien's literature. House of Lost Play has made several pipes inspired by those smoked by the characters from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit novels. However, he has also made many beautiful pipes from his own original ideas and those of his customers, such as this dragon pipe, which was the most difficult pipe he has made so far. House of Lost Play started woodworking at the age of 18 in order to make his own electric guitar. Since that point, he has been fascinated by wood, as there's never two identical pieces of wood. Each piece has its own look, feel, sound, and behavior to work with. For beginner woodworkers, House of Lost Play says, every error is an experience. Do not rush, be patient. Check out House of Lost Play's Etsy store, where he has many unique pipes available for purchase. AK Organic Abstracts paints mesmerizing, intricate, and meaningful abstract art on wooden panels and custom skateboard decks. AK Organic Abstracts has traditionally painted her stunning abstracts on large wooden panels, but has recently found success painting skateboard decks for younger audiences. AK Organic Abstracts work is just so much more than mere paint on skateboards and wooden panels. It offers an observation and insight into the state of the modern world. AK Organic Abstracts' point of interest in her work is the struggle between nature and technological advancement. She observes humankind has a tremendous ability to benefit the world through our innovations. However, often it's the same innovations which divide us and damages our world. We use our medical advancements to prolong our lives, but spend that precious extra time hiding behind our computer screens and phone screens. As a result, we neglect each other and the world that sustains us. AK Organic Abstracts purposely paints in an abstract style to make her artwork ambiguous to her audience. Each piece is painted in a way to ensure her audience is able to associate their own experiences and beliefs with the artwork in order to create their own interpretation and meaning. Through her art, AK Organic Abstracts wants to make you observe your own world a little more closely. For anyone interested in purchasing a custom skateboard deck from AK Organic Abstracts, check out her website in the links below. Estonian artist Kinko White paints breathtaking mixed media artworks influenced by J.R.R. Tolkien's literature. Kinko White's unbelievable artworks are well complemented by her unique choice of canvas, which is a simple notebook. Opening Kinko White's notebook creates an experience almost as enchanting as opening a pathway to the world and culture of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Kinko White is immersed in J.R.R. Tolkien's wonderful literature and Peter Jackson's film adaptions of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. When she paints, she experiences and becomes part of the beautiful, mystical and alluring world, which is Middle Earth. To create these beautiful artworks, Kinko White skillfully blends together a variety of materials, such as acrylic paint, watercolors, gel pens, ink and glitter. There may not be any more Middle Earth themed movies to look forward to, 
but you can certainly look forward to Kinko White's artworks. Kinko White has an awesome Society6 store where you can buy her beautiful canvas prints and phone cases, so be sure to check them out. Thank you for watching Deviant Hunting. You can check out each artist's online store and profile in the description, and don't forget to tell me which artist you like the most in the comment section below. Furthermore, please check out the Deviant Art Group called Deviant Hunting to post your own work and see some other works from other Deviants who also watch the show. Bye for now, but not forever.